Good morning. Uh, another day. I think day ten. Day ten now. Yeah. So awesome. Moving right along. Um, Going to get started doing some doing some meditation, praying. You know, to start the day off right. So let's get to it. All right. On to affirmations. I do the thing. Printed them off. No more struggling uh, to read my writing. I'm just going to struggle to read, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway. I am full of energy and I'm using that energy to build my mind and body anew to the best possible shape and condition it can be. The strides I am taking in my life are bringing me to my best possible level of health without the need for medication. The mastery I develop over my health and fitness will directly influence the success I will achieve in all aspects of my life. All right. On the visu visualization, um, I was reading what I'm. I, what I think I'm supposed to do is I, I just have the words on the vision board. I'm supposed to print off pictures and post them there to help me visualize. But you know how long it took me to uh, print off a sheet of paper. Um, it's probably good that I'm reading "Eat That Frog" about just doing it, <laughs> getting it's not procrastinating. Um, so I'll be working on that too. Um, just making it. Uh, Making it what it's supposed to be. So, anyway, under 300 pounds. <laughs> That'd be real nice. I have my chair leaned against the wall here because um, it squeaks real bad. You can only imagine uh, some WD 40 would help, but also not weighing so much. I've broken a lot of chairs in my life, um, just a whole bunch. Um, so, being under 300 pounds, that the level of chair break is just going to go down a bit. Um, the Miracle Morning every day for 365 days. So it's, it's day 10. And so far what I've noticed is it's easier to get up. You know, alarm goes off, I'm up. I go, I drink an entire glass of water. Uh, kind of wakes me up. I hop in the shower for a minute or two. You know, I brush my teeth. Wakes me up in the morning and I come and I go straight into this. Um, it's, it's it's a nice routine. It gets me up early. Gets I get extra things done. Um, I'm more productive throughout the day. So, if it's something that uh, you're considering, do it. And give it a shot for a couple days. The first couple days are the hardest, but I can only imagine after after a year of doing this, you know, I'm going to be in a better spot, and, and that's awesome. That's exciting to look forward to. Makes it easier every day as well because you know you're excited about what could happen. So keeps you on track. Anyway. Uh, 365 videos made. I know we started off at saying 100, but doing this daily, math, right? Took me like five minutes with the calculator, figured it out. Anyway, so doing this every day for 365 days and putting videos down. <laughs> you know how some people, they have that. Um, I took a picture of myself every day for a year doing something or like just letting their facial hair grow or something. And, you know, it's a neat time lapse. Um... I should probably do the same. I should probably take a picture um, of myself and just let it play. And then in, in, in a year, run, it, run through it and see what things look like. So anyway, 400 pound bench press, 600 pound squat. Uh, the 400 pound bench press is a lot closer than a 600 pound squat, seeing as I can actually do the bench press without pain. So it's a little easier to visualize and probably be taken off the board first. But 600 pound squat, still a goal. So. Zero medication. <laughs> yeah, definitely save some money that way too. Take the money that I would be spending on medication and put it toward anything else. It would be it would be better. So anyway, write a book, release the text based game. Um, now that I'm doing these every day as opposed to once a week, I'm, I need to figure out what I'm going to write um, because we'll see. Maybe I need to get up even earlier, add another another hour to my day. It's possible. Um, so, yeah, visualize that. Success at work. Just doing better. <laughs> so, in 50 self development books read. Already deep in uh, number two. So, well, on my way. I'm gonna, you know, some are gonna be longer, some are gonna be shorter. But yeah, after 50, it's gonna be pretty interesting to kind of. See how that can change the way I the way I do day to day things and the way I live my life. Because, like I said, with you know how Elrods, I'm I'm doing all this. You know, 
uh, what other nuggets am I going to glean along the way that's going to be able to help me. So, all right. On to reading. I'm going to keep right along with Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy. It's all back. I don't know why. But anyway, so on to that. Enjoy the top of my head. Alright. <laughs> Done reading for now. Um, let's go uh, let's go exercise. Today is back and shoulder, so let's do it.
All right, well, that was a, that was a good workout. Um, went pretty smooth. I wanted to do a little bit more, but I started uh, getting some uh, pain right here in my shoulder. Um, it started the other day when I was doing those tricep pushdowns. I think I was leaning too far into it. And it caused some shoulder strain. Now it was hurting, especially when I was going up to the military press. It still kind of hurts. Um, so I'm going to monitor that, going to look into different ways to kind of prehab that and to work around it and to figure out what I'm, what I'm going to do with that. But yeah, no, all in all, good good morning so far. Um, it was kind of a, kind of ironic when I, when I was reading uh, my reading segment today. Uh, when I was talking, I was oh, you know, maybe I get up an extra hour early to make sure that I can take on you know this extra stuff. But uh, my biggest takeaway today was from you know the book here, rule uh, you can you can get your time in your life under control only to the the, the degree um, to which you discontinue lower value activities. So I was thinking about it. And it's like well. I could wake up an extra hour early, you know, but at the same time, I have quite a lot of hours in the day that I'm spending pointlessly. Um, it's not directly helping me doing this, so I'm going to try uh, limiting some of those, freeing up an extra hour to accomplish the more important things, to, to eat the bigger, uglier frog, like uh, doing the writing and stuff, which is less fun than, you know, watching videos or, or you know, just pointless things that aren't directly helping influence me. Um, to, to better myself. So that's my takeaway today. I'm going to go on, uh, get started working. I'm going to edit these videos, get them out there. So have a good one.